All right, and uh, I don't know how I'm gonna title this. Um, this is gonna be I I guess PS4 fighting game exclusives. If I'm wrong, please comment down below to correct me so I can like edit this or I don't know how. So the first one we started off is um Ultra Street Fighter 4. I know like oh this has been released multiple editions on multiple different consoles. And um this is yeah Ultra Street Fighter 4. I think they fixed the lag from the PS3 version. So um for the this is only exclusive on the PS4 cuz it's um a downloadable version on the PlayStation Network. It has I think all the DLC I think at 2014 or 2015 I think uh, and yeah it has all the characters everything unlocked all right now moving on to the next we have Street Fighter 5 and Street Fighter 5 it's like well, same thing newer version different look different newer stuff into the game mechanics which you have the same basic characters um Ken Ryu Chun Kami and Akuma. Uh, and every year they're releasing uh, um characters from season to season. And yeah, this is it's all right. I don't rec. Yeah. All right, moving on to our next game. Um, Skull Girls Encore Two, I think. And um, with this game, it's basically I don't. It's basically uh, it's where you play as these bunch of girls. Um, I think I I don't. I'm not really sure. You play as these characters, which they could do. So uh, I guess fast pace, and then you have different selection and currently there is no physical release so you have to get it from the PlayStation Network to play it. Moving on to our next game it is King of Fighters 14 and it's been a while since we got the last version it's 13 yeah. The thing about um this game is where I believe it's keep getting updates for um the graphics or how it looks. It, it looks really bad when it first came out. The trailers, it made it look like if it was for PS2. So they keep editing it so it could be, oh, it's they updating the graphics because it looks so terrible. And they have a huge amount of rosters. So moving on to the next game. We have Blaze Blue Central Fiction. What I, um, when I looked up, there is no 360 version. I mean, that too. But there's only... Uh, PS3 and PS4 for some reason like all the different editions were like Blaze Boot, um, Traeger, Climatic and all that stuff were for like for both systems and then for some reason um, Central Fiction was only for PS4 and PS3. It's like oh I don't know why. It's a more of an anime based game and now moving on to our next game. Alright um, um this game um, Guilty Gear. I think it's um sign or sing or revelation or something like that, and it's an anime based game uh anime looking game that's fast paced action and just attacking next one on the list I think this is the last one Neptura plus blazer hero heroines infinite duel and it's basically like um the like it's like blaze blue anime, but it's not. I guess to put it in like that big graphics or if not gameplay how it looks so it looks something like I guess hand drawn or something like that all right and it's quite all right it's quite funny that most of the, like oh exclusive games fighting games are for PS4 it's like arguably it's like well you know it's all the games we wanted to play but are they any good it's like eh so Oh yeah, I forgot to mention about this game. It is um Jojo Bizarre Adventures. Uh, yeah, I forgot about that one. And I guess let's put honorable mentions. There's there's two there's two ones. And there are Denki Bunko Fighting Climax Ignition. And the other one's Blade Arceus from Shining. The reason why I'm saying these two hit the recommend um honorable mentions. It's because, well, they're uh, Japan um, only exclusive. So that's why they didn't make it on the list. The other ones, they're um, um, worldwide, but these two are. Uh, J Star's Victory is a um, 3D, no, it's a fighting action game where you have the um, the Jonin, Jonin Shump characters from, like, you know, anime, man manga, from, like, Naruto, Goku, uh, I think Bleach. And other, uh, Yo Yo Hakusho, you got a bunch of them fighting. It's like, oh, you know, it's like the best of, like, you know, back in the 90s, you know, the anime. And it's like, oh, you know, I wonder who will win, Naruto or Goku. You know, you can have fun with that. Next on our list is Saint Seria Soldiers. This is from, like, I think 90s anime, where there's a bunch of guys got, like, this mystical powers to have, like, armor colors. And with, like, each color represent this, um, animal. Same thing, like, um, J Stars, where it's. Like a fighting action game where it's like Naruto you go around. And Urban Legends. 
Oh yeah, this last one, Urban Legends. Like, I don't know how to describe this one. Just, uh, the video that I'm showing right now is like, like anime style base, and then like, oh, little girls tacking with mystical powers and all this. Like, it's real fast paced. Like, what is this? 